In this video, I want to look at some data that I'm going to copy from one place and copy into Excel and have the issue of Excel not recognizing that the data is numbers and then try to fix that problem, get it to be numbers and work with that. So um, I'm gonna take the data from this website I made with just a few Fibonacci numbers listed. And so here's the URL if you wanted to try it for yourself. And here is the HTML behind this little table. And I have a table and rows and cells. And then in the cells, I have not only a number, but I have a regular old space. And I also have a non-breaking space, an HTML non-breaking space. Okay. So let me open up an Excel. Make a new workbook. Okay, I'm going to highlight this table. And let's see if I can paste. So I'm pasting. Okay. And let me save that. Do a save as uh, browse. And I'll just put it in my downloads and then delete it when I'm done. But Fibonacci, okay. So I have this data, paste it over. And just sometimes I've had issues. So just there are variations on paste, um, paste, paste special match destination, match source under here, uh, match destination, match source, paste special where there are text text, Unicode, HTML. So there are different variations of paste. So sometimes sometimes pasting is a problem. Uh, this time pasting wasn't a problem, but I can see by the numbers being, um, by the way they're justified that they're thrown over onto the left instead of over on the right, that Excel doesn't recognize them. And you might say, well, that's just some weird justification thing. But if I try to make a plot of this data, some XY scatter plot, I have sort of nothing. So that's clearly not a very useful plot. Okay, so it's not recognizing these as numbers. So one thing we might do is say, okay, well, let me come up here into this and there's stuff up here other than just the number one. So that is my indication that that's, uh, that, that's a problem. So I can come along here to home, uh, editing, uh, find and replace, or find and select and go to replace. And I can say here, find what, and I can enter a space. There's more of a problem than just space. I set it up to be that way. But I can say, uh, I think it's a space. And the space was part of the problem, but not the whole problem. So find the space and replace it with nothing and do a replace all. And it did indeed make replacements, but that's not all there was. So come back up here and there's still something there, but it's it's not a space. It's It looks like a space, but it's not a space. It's something else, but I, I don't need to know what it is. I just need to get rid of it. And so I'm going to come up here into the cell, highlight it, copy it, go back home, editing, find and select, replace, get rid of that just simple ordinary space for my keyboard, control V, paste in this new whatever the hell it is thing, and again, replace it with nothing, and then do a replace all again. And now I see that Excel has put them, thrown them to the right-hand side, suggesting that Excel now recognizes them as numbers. And then I can go ahead and insert an XY scatter graph and do all my normal things, uh, make it a choose quick layout number nine. This should be an exponential function, et cetera. So, 
I could I should title it, etc. But the whole point was this getting it to recognize numbers by getting rid of the things that weren't numbers in the cell. It don't assume it's a space or just a space. You might have to do um you might have to try a couple of different things in your replace and replace all. I've sometimes seen it um, not do a replace until I highlighted a certain amount of data that I wanted it to do the replace on on the page. So sometimes I can just get all the way with the replace and it will do the whole page. And sometimes I have to select the data that is my sort of target for the replacing. What else have I seen? I have seen issues, especially if you uh, work between systems, between, so I often tend to work on a Windows system and number of my students work on Macs and Macs are sort of have their basis down in Linux and Linux and Windows handle like end of lines differently. So this is another place where we can run into two systems handling the data differently. So this was just pure a pure Windows. I contrived this problem to be pure Windows, but I've seen problems where Windows functions fine and the Mac doesn't. Um, and if I worked on a Mac, I'd probably find the opposite, but I tend to work in Windows and then find problems when my students are with their Macs. So um, that is a similar problem of this, uh, needing to find the characters that are not supposed to be there or are misunderstood by your operating system and sort of put them into Excel. And again, Excel's clue that something's not a number is it, uh, it's the way it justifies the data. Um, and on the way my Windows set, I mean, the way my Linux, my Excel, I'll say it right yet, yeah, is set up is for the numbers to be right justified. So now I, once I got rid of not just the space, but that sort of non-breaking space, and I didn't really know what the symbol for that was in Excel, but all I had to do is find it so I could highlight it and use the replace, replace all. And if replace doesn't seem to be working, uh, if a replace all doesn't seem to be working, you can see that there's something to get rid of. You haven't made any assumptions about what the something is, but you've highlighted it and pasted it in and it's still not working. Then you might want to sort of target the replace by highlighting a bunch of data and then redoing the replace. Um, I've seen that somehow needed on occasion. All right, that's what I wanted to show you, this issue with uh, Excel not recognizing things as number and this uh, replace all solution. Thanks for your attention.